Hey, welcome back to the show, guys. Hope you're having a good morning, good afternoon, and a good evening, wherever you are located. In today's video, we will not be doing any type of coding session, um, but instead, pretty excited to show you guys my very first published application inside of the Apple App Store. So the app itself is called Meal Roulette, and uh, you can no longer download it in the Apple App Store because I've canceled the account on it. And um, I published this app in the year of 2012, roughly around August. And so that was a long time ago. And uh, obviously I was pretty new to iOS and developing apps. So the app is pretty raw and it doesn't do a whole lot. So let me go ahead and show you guys exactly what the app looks like and what it sort of does here. Okay. Inside of the Apple iPad Air 2 simulator, uh, I can drag the screen like this, and uh, it pretty much course, uh, responds to how I drag up and down. And if I drag down like that and kind of just spin the wheel, uh, you see that on the right side, there's a white wedge, this wedge right here. Uh, it pretty much helps you kind of decide what kind of restaurant you should eat for lunch during any particular day. So the idea behind this app kind of evolved from a conversation that I was having with a friend on how sometimes it's pretty difficult to decide what kind of dinner or what kind of lunch you would like to have. So this app should help you solve that problem. So that's kind of the idea. And if I spin it really, really fast, it applies some kind of rotational animation to the wheel in the middle. And it spins for about five seconds. And whenever it lands on a particular wedge, you can read the reviews for it. And so clicking on that button launches, I think, some kind of UI web view. And clicking on this continue uh, mobile site, it'll launch the actual restaurant review page on this website called Yelp. And I guess for some of you guys are not totally familiar with uh, Yelp.com, uh, it's very popular in the US for restaurant reviews and pretty much anything that you want to look at when you are out and about. So you can cancel out of this guy, and then you can spin the wheel again if you are unhappy with the previous uh, selection that the wheel gave you. So that's kind of how it works. Um, you can apply any type of search result inside of this middle text field right here. So if I wanted to perhaps search for Chinese food like that, it'll refresh the entire wheel now with Fat Wong's Restaurant, Mayfair, Wong's Cafe, and you can spin the wheel again to see what your luck looks like and um, it'll help you decide where you have uh, lunch. So that's the idea. Um, it is not restricted to just food. You can type in anything inside of the search bar and if perhaps you are getting married, you can search for a flower shop by just typing in flowers right here and you see the wheel has kind of changed to uh, now show flower shops and florists and just local uh, local places that are relevant to the search result. Uh, one question that you guys might be having is, where do all of these search query results come from? Well, it is powered by Yelp, which you see this little icon down at the bottom right. And uh, Yelp provides you with some kind of open API that just lets you search based on location, which is something that you enter in this little option button here. If I change this to perhaps 10, uh, the wheel will spin for a lot longer. So the wheel is spinning, 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 um, and it takes now 10 seconds for it to completely stop on some kind of wedge right here. So pretty basic. Uh, like I said before, it doesn't do a whole lot, but I think it was a very good learning experience for kind of my first application. Uh, let me now go over some of the trickiest parts of creating this application um, that I ran into when I was first getting into iOS development. And so <clears throat> the very first, I guess the most difficult thing about developing this app for me was figuring out how to draw lines uh, inside of an, of an application. So if I bump this up, let me see if I can make it a little bit bigger. So inside of one of these wedges right here, I had to figure out how to draw like this line right here and then this arc and then this line and then figure out how to do that uh, consecutively so that I can fill out the entire circle with all of these wedges. Um, filling out the color inside of that particular wedge was not difficult. I think you just apply some kind of fill color 
on the shape that you're drawing and you get it to be whatever color you want. Uh, I think I'm just using random RGB values for all of these wedges here. Uh, the, other, <clears throat> the other difficult part about creating this app that I was pretty new at was figuring out how to apply animation to, I guess, UI view. So the animation of kind of spinning the wheel here, let me just shrink this back down so it's a little bit smoother. Uh, I think it uses some kind of CA animation and I needed to figure out based on how fast I'm kind of spinning this guy right here. So UI pan gesture has some kind of velocity to the touch and based on the velocity, um, I'm spinning the wheel with some kind of speed associated with that velocity. And just trying to figure out all that while uh, being pretty new to how iOS apps work, being new to Objective-C made it a little bit complicated. Um, one of the things about these drawing APIs is that I've been actually, uh, so when I was writing this application, I had already been, been coding professionally for about four to five years. Uh, a lot of the code that I was doing at the time dealt with drawing things onto the screen. So drawing or finding the documentation to figure out how to draw all this stuff wasn't all that difficult. Um, applying the logic was kind of complicated, but uh, I was pretty familiar with how to look up documentation on how to do some of this stuff here. Okay, so hopefully you guys found this video fun, entertaining, and hopefully a little bit motivational. Uh, the whole reason why I wanted to show you guys today's video and my very first application is to let you guys know that I also had my very early beginnings in iOS development, and uh, I've definitely come a long way since the last five years, and I know a lot more in terms of just iOS in general. So keep in mind, uh, wherever you guys begin and wherever you guys start programming, just have fun with whatever you want to make. Uh, this application was just kind of my kind of hobby at the time, and hopefully you guys can turn your hobby into a full-time career. All right, hopefully you guys like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.